So he tries to lift her up with her, you know, shoulders, and she's just in so much pain. He p puts her on the damn bed. He changed her diaper. He's like, oh, you want to, oh, here, let me train you. I'll show you how to do it. I was like, you, I'm good. You can do that. He said, you sure? Because I, I got to show you how to do everything. I said, yeah, I already did. I know, you know, I know how to do that. He said, okay, cool. So he did it. He picked up the shit, threw it in the trash. Like, I said, damn, you did that like it was nothing. He like, man, you just got to do what you got to do. You know, so after that, we go into another guy's room. And I guess this is like a rich guy. He got his certificates up, master's degree, all that stuff. And he can't swallow his food or water, so he spits out, you know, his uh, water and stuff. So he calls me, and as soon as he hears somebody walking or he sees me, He'll be like, ah, ah, and basically he's saying, hey, I need you. So I go to him, what do you need? He's like, I need some coke. So I get, yeah, give him some of his coke, he drinks it, and then I gotta suck out the water, whatever it's spit. And then have to, the guy was like, here, let me show you how to change a guy's doctor. No, mm -mm, no. I am not about to wipe no other man's balls. I just can't, I'm not about to wipe no grown man's balls. No. No, I refuse. No. No. I do it anyway. Because I need a job. So, put my gloves on. Take off the guy's pen. Take off his diaper. Oh, my gosh. And this fool got hair, too. I mean, what the fuck? Do old people know how to shave? Just because you old don't mean you got to not shave something could look young so he just bushed out he got his thing just there and I was just looking at him like what am I supposed to do how do you wipe some because he had like white stuff on the side so he's like oh you just wipe this stuff off with the white so I get my thing I wipe down on the side and I wipe down the other side and then the guy's like you better not touch my fucking balls. And I was like, okay, cool. I ain't gonna touch your balls. But the guy, I'm looking at him, he's like, like, I have to. So I'm like, oh, fuck. So I end up having to do it anyway. And I guess when you old, your balls hurt for a simple touch because I barely touched them. He's like, oh, you fucking bitch. And I was, <laughs> I was just rolling because the first thing that came up to my mind was run up on this bitch. Don't, don't let nobody call you a bitch. I don't care if he old, young, little, girl, guy. Don't call me no bitch. Because mess around me, I'll cut your oxygen take off. Fucking around with me. So I just smiled. out the like, oh, my bad. So put his stuff back on. Damn, man. I hope when I get old, my shit don't look like that. Because, oh, but he was Asian, too. So that must have been something else, too. But put his stuff back on. And then they showed, he, um, what else he showed me? He showed me, I basically had to clean around the whole damn house and shit. But, that, that was $8 an hour. It was 40 hours, 46 hours, 48 hours a week, $8 an hour. You had to take care of them, you had to feed them, take them out. And then they was talking about the next day, oh, tomorrow when you come in, we're going to take them showers. I said, mm-mm, mm-mm. Nigga, I ain't coming in tomorrow. Fuck the bullshit. I'm gonna pretend like I'm coming in tomorrow, but I ain't coming in tomorrow. They was like, oh, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. So, what else did we do? I'm cleaning around the house. The um, the one lazy lady, she's still sitting down watching Oprah. The guy, he like, man, come on, I'll help you, cause this bitch don't like doing nothing. Well, you know, talking, I, he was cool, but I just can't do the shit he was doing. So. What else happened that was nasty? One guy, I thought I was going to work in the house. Because one guy, he was 95 years old. He stood up himself. He started wiping his own body parts, doing all that stuff. So I'm like, cool, I really ain't got to do nothing. I basically have to tell them to clean their own selves. Because this guy 95, but little did I know, it wasn't like that. And one lady was like, oh, come here. Oh, come look at his tattoos. So I go and I look at his tattoos. He had a whole mess of tattoos on his bodies and stuff. She was like, oh, come here and look at his balls. Oh, what? Bitch, you lost your damn mind? I ain't look. Only balls I'm looking at is Big Chris's. You dig? 
And my name is Big Chris. I ain't messing with. I ain't looking at nobody those balls. The only balls I'm looking at is Spaldings. So she'll all just glance. No. He got a tattoo on there that looks still new. No. You ask me again, I'm going to put my balls in your face and see how you like it. Simple. So, after that happened, I'm cleaning. The manager comes in. That bitch was a bitch. Man, that's what one of the reasons made me want to quit because she was talking shit like I've been there for three years. She's like, oh, did you do this? Did you do that? No, i just been here for the first day. Uh, you can't expect me to know everything. Oh, do you know all the patients' names? No, I ain't even met all the damn patients. That's disrespectful. So she treated me like a little kid, made me say everybody's name until I got it right. I was like, okay, I got you. I see you down some stairs. You better hope you don't fall down there, which you will. Come on, make sure I push the fuck out your ass. So... I'm sorry, I'm just, okay, so, she talked to me, and I'm on my break, she's like, oh, you on your break, I'm like, yeah, she's like, okay, come follow me, I'm like, I'm on my damn lunch, I didn't say that, because I need a job, so, we go in there, she made me sign some paperwork, she gave me a little pep talk, all this other crap, she's like, oh, when Chris is done with his lunch, you go take your lunch, and I'm just thinking, I ain't even took my lunch yet, so, I ended up not taking the lunch, thing that really got me, oh, <laughs> First thing that really got me, this bitch, <laughs> this bitch gonna tell me, oh, you know you're not getting paid for today. What? This is only orientation. Wait a minute. I woke up at four o'clock in the morning to take the freeway, drove an hour and a half to get here, thinking I'm about to get at least $100 for today. And you mean to tell me I'm not getting paid? I done wipe some ass, I done wipe some poo nanny, I done wipe some balls, and you mean to tell me I ain't getting paid? Oh, okay. Okay, you dirty bitch. You better hope I don't do this job for life. Cause when you become old and can't do nothing, I'ma i am a whoo, your shit gonna be shit. You gonna have a diaper, I ain't gonna clean your ass for three weeks, bitch. You done fucked up the game. Whew. One more spin, cause that was some crazy shit. Shit ain't even, whew. this bitch that told me I ain't got paid. This is not 1864, you have to pay me ho, or pay me no attention, look him up. So, as soon as I heard I wasn't getting paid, I had to call people up, told them, oh, I can't do this job. Uh, $8 an hour, I got wipe ass and clean, no, it's, no. I'm, mm, I'm not about to wipe ass, take them showers, feed them, clean the house, dust everything, clean everybody's mirror, anytime you hear a beep go off, go to it. And not only that, but she said, these patients are old. If they curse at you, you can't curse at them back. I said, okay, I could do that. These patients, they gonna spit on you sometimes. I'm like, okay, I can't probably do that. Then she said, and sometimes when you're changing them or something, they might swing at you. Nope. You ain't gonna swing at me cause my reflexes automatically just go off. I don't care, you better ask my little niece who's three. She hit me in my leg. I promise you not, my reflex just automatically slapped her and she flew into the damn couch on the other side of the living room. No lie, I can't do this because these patients is old. If I slap them, they either gonna go into a seizure or they just go, hair gonna fall out. That was just nasty. So, when I came home, took me two hours to get home, I smelled like old people. I felt like I was gonna throw up. I called them that same night, day, and I told them, mm -mm, this job ain't for me, I quit. Y'all didn't pay me for the first day. You expect me to do all this stuff, and this is $8 an hour, and no, I'm not about to do this for this amount of money. So, I'm sorry I quit. She's like, oh, okay, I understand. Blah, blah. No, you don't understand, bitch. Because you wasn't doing none of this shit. You was watching me wipe somebody else's ass while you was talking about you don't do it like that. Well, bitch, why don't you show me how you do it instead of talking about it? I No, I'm not about to do that. So I done got a job in a day and quit the next same day. I came home. I took a shit that same day. I wiped my ass, and my I, when I wiped my ass, it starts. It smelled like old people. I took a shower. I got out the shower. I still smell like old people. So I didn't go to sleep today. I was just 
Don't let me see an old ass person, cause I will run. I will scream. I will go. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'll do one of those shits in the corner somewhere if I see another old person. So. Mm mm. I ain't even gonna wipe my ass no more. Fuck the bullshit. If I get shit in my jaws, I don't care. I ain't wiping my ass. I ain't wiping my kids' ass. I ain't doing nothing because that stuff was just nasty. Whew. But when I get old, y'all better wipe my damn ass because I ain't got time to be stinky. I'm trying to holler at these old ass hoes. You feel me? So, <laughs> so that was my experience working at an old place for a day. Ain't never going to happen again because I, I have dreams and whew. Don't do it. Money ain't everything.